Sumera and I hope you all have been doing fine. I hope you're taking care of your health. In today's episode, I will be talking about the link between obesity and diabetes. So let us get started. So we've heard so much about diabetes over the years. We know that how it happens, what is the mechanism, what are the interventions, what other medications people take and today I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to focus on one aspect of diabetes, which is how is it linked with obesity and why is it such an important issue to consider and discuss. So before I get there, let me tell you that diabetes is of two types, type 1 and type 2. The type 2 diabetes is the most common diabetes and it used to be called the delayed onset diabetes because it was only seen in older adults. But over the years, doctors have identified that even teenagers are diagnosed with diabetes and what is the reason behind that lately the lifestyle has changed so much people have become so unhealthy in terms of their eating habits instead in terms of their lifestyle their sleeping pattern etc so everything contributes to your health so the link between diabetes and obesity is that we are a multicellular organism right so we evolved into making so many cells one of which is the adipocytes. Adipocytes are responsible for storing fat. And what it does is, it stores the fat so that the fat does not roam around everywhere else in your body. Because if it does, it will cause toxic effects and it will cause harmful effects to your body. So, the, the major function of the adipocytes is to store the fat and shield it from harm. So, the issue is that the adipocytes are only able to store a certain amount of fat cells. So if this is the capacity of your adipocytes, it can store only amount of fat cells that can fit in. And if you are an obese person, you will have a lot of fat cells. So this is not going to be held inside. It is going to leak out. Once this fat cell leaks out, it reaches other organs like liver, pancreas, etc. And there it caused damaging effects. But it's not that everyone who has diabetes has to be an obese person. Even thin people can have diabetes. It just depends on where the fat cells are stored. So when you look at premenopausal women, they are more prone to store fat in the subcutaneous space, such as the buttocks and the thighs. Whereas in men, they are prone to storing fat in the abdominal spaces. And that is why they are more prone to have diabetes as compared to premenopausal women. But after menopause, even women start storing fat in the abdominal space and they are also equally prone to having diabetes. So it is very essential that we look into our lifestyle and we take it seriously. We don't just lose weight, we don't just work out or eat healthy to look good. But also there are so many organs that are relying on us because we have to take care of them. There are so many complications that are linked with diabetes. There can be eye disease, heart disease, kidney disease, um, there can be uh, foot amputation, ulceration and so many deadly things that I don't even want to talk about. But I hope you get the gist, right? So please make sure that you eat healthy, you keep yourself active, you sleep on time and you take care of your mental health. That is all for today. I hope this video was helpful. Please do share with others. Spread awareness. People should know the reality about diabetes and that it is a very complex disease and it should not be taken lightly. I will see you all next time. Until then, love, invest, find yourself and enjoy.